Okay, so back to what I was saying. Goodies, outlets, headbands, goodies, outlets, just bands, period. You guys really want to get this. I don't know if goodies really had the natural people in mind when they made these things, but I mean, these are these are really perfect. Um, yeah, they lose their stretch after a while. I actually got these back in December, January. I was with my best friend, Sheikah. Hey, Sheikah. Uh, when I got these, and I, I'm going back to get some more. Uh, like I said, they're very soft. Let me let me show you. This is the headband or whatever, and, and they're really soft, and you can bend them and stuff. And like I said, Walmart, Target, you know, they love goodies. Then the last thing that I have to say, and then um, I'll, you know, stop recording, um, is a blow dryer. Now, a lot of people will say, you know, once you, if you, if you have or not curly hair, you know that heat really isn't exactly all the way your friend because you could really damage your curl pattern. Um, this is very true. But even if you have kinks. It can mess up. You know what I'm saying? It can mess. Basically, it can mess up any hair pattern you have by heat damage. It is much, much more obvious once you go natural when you've had heat damage. You know how you have heat damage when the, there's like the usual pattern of your hair, and then there's this like limp, stringy end. And that's heat damage. If anybody's been wondering if that's what that, that's what happened. Um. So I have this blow dryer, and it's um. I think it's a Revlon. Yep, yeah, it is. It's a Revlon retractable cord or whatever. And um, the good thing about the Revlon hair dryer is that it has several heat settings. Like it has two sides or whatever. It has two sides. Um, so you have high, low, and off, and then you have cool, warm, and hot. So that way you can you you really have more control over the heat that you use in your hair. Um, so, so, you know, you can really, you know, work to not harm your hair. Uh, like I said, retractable cord, it's really tiny. You can fold it and clip it. Now, what came with this um, hair dryer was actually a diffuser. Um, I remember um, another person's channel, I look at Black Onyx, she said that one of her classmates said, oh, well, you don't need to use a diffuser because you have an afro. Wrong, 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 as she said, wrong. A diffuser is so good for so many reasons is that it spreads the heat out. Um, so it's just not concentrating that one spot. You're getting like more range. There's actually two types of diffuser. There's a soft diffuser and then the bowl diffuser. Um, you see a little spike. Um, I have not used the diffuser in yet. Um, not really like when I did my blood, I think I used it, but not, you know, in that scrunching motion like some people use to define their curls. Because my hair really isn't that long. Um, so all this would do is just like pat my hair in and I don't want that right now. Um, maybe as my hair gets longer then I can use a diffuser and really feel like it's helping my life. But um, as of right now, no, it wouldn't help my life at all. So, um, yeah, these are like the tools of the trade. Um, like I said, um, one of the biggest things is that I learned also that I'll go ahead and tell a lot of people if you don't know already is that another reason why I wet my hair every single morning is because you don't want to wash, I mean, brush or comb your hair when it's dry and it's natural because you'll end up taking a lot of hair with you. Um, <laughs> with that, you soften it up. It, it helps some of the tangles fall out. I made this mistake so many times while I was transitioning. When I would get done with my twist out and they would start to turn bad and I would try to do a ponytail, I would sit up there and take like, uh, this is when I had like a, 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 a hard bristle brush and my hair would be dry and I would just trying to, you know, pull it out. And I was dealing with the two different types of textures. So I was just making the whole situation worse. And so I was literally, like, having tufts of, of hair. You know, like, like about this size when I got done brushing my hair. You know, it's, what is this? No, what is, oh, okay. Um, anyway, but I was like, these big chunks of hair come out. And um, that's the one big thing I learned while you're natural, that wet is your friend. Water is your friend. When you're natural, um, and it's a very freeing experience. Now, when it rains, I'm just like, well, my hair get wet. What'll happen? Nothing. 
Um, so water, water really is your friend when you become natural. And um, when I do my puffs, I mean, like I said, I, I wet my hair pretty well before I just start brushing at it. And I hardly, you know, ever have to clean out my brush. I mean, I don't think y'all can really see that. But I don't really have to, ever have to clean out my brush. I mean, like I said, I'll do it to be deep conditioning once a week. But, I mean, that's one of the things. And the other thing is that, you know, you don't want to keep using these small tooth combs. You know, you have a lot more hair. Um, it's not straight and smooth. So you need something that kind of have give, you know, gives you girth to kind of slowly detangle your hair. Um, um, but that's pretty much it. That's, you know, pretty much all I have for you guys today. Um, probably the next video I'll make is just to show you guys, you know, some of the stuff I use and, um, you know, that I recommend definitely. I will go ahead as a preview to tell you that I know a lot of naturals use like suave, white rain, and, um, oh God, what is the other one? The suave and white rain, I can't think of the other one. You know, for their co-washes, I will go ahead and tell you I do not do that whatsoever. There's nothing wrong with them, especially if you're doing the curly girl method and you're just trying to avoid silicones and things like that. But I also look at the rest of the ingredients in the product and things like EDTAs, um, Propylene glycol, DMDM, how to tone, how to tone, however you say that, please forgive me um, for all you science majors or just general learned people that know how to say that word correctly. I, I really do look at things like that with, you know, the effects that it has on the long term of your body. I do worry about skin absorption, you know, especially when I look at some of the things in the black community and the things that are in our products and then they wonder, you know, we wonder why, why is cancer so rap, you know, rampant and things like that. Stuff we, yeah, in your hair. I mean, yeah, you really want to be careful with that. So I don't, I do not use swab. I do not use white rain. Um, for my co-washes, I tend to pay more money for my co-washes, which is why it's helpful to part your hair as you wash it. That way, when you're using the more expensive line, that you're not overusing the product. And parting sections in my hair really helps me to do that. So anyway, but I'm done. I need to go eat. I'm hungry. Um, my mom's friend made barbecue. Really delicious. Drool. Um, and I also need to do some homework. I have a class presentation tomorrow. Um, so anyway, but I figured I'd show you guys, you know, what I use for the tools of the trade. You know, the everybody, I feel like everybody needs to have in their, you know, in their cabinet so they will be able to see for everything. Oh, I forgot to show you my, oh, Jesus, the little shower cap. That too, for when you're doing deep condition. Anyway, but let me go. The next video I'll probably make is the products of the trade so I can show you guys, like, what I use, how I use it. Just to give you some type of idea, okay? So, bye, you guys. See you next time.